I'm going to share a concept with you. It's called rate of perceived exertion. And this is usually talked about in things like exercise or fitness. But if you apply this idea to your life in general, in terms of your life goals or whatever it is you have, it is profoundly important and it can has the potential to change everything for you. So, rate of perceived exertion. What are the factors in goal completion in actually getting whatever it is that you want? Well, one of the things that we can seem to get away from, it just seems to be a fact of life, is that to be successful in any goal, any important goal in life, you need to be consistent in your application towards that goal. It's far better to be consistent than it is to be sporadic in your efforts and your input, right? So you want to be doing a little bit towards your goal every day. And this idea of uh, rate of perceived exertion in exercise means people have talked about, okay, when you're working out or something, you should push yourself all the time. You should always be pushing yourself to the limit. And scientists are, are, have talked about in this rate of perceived exertion that actually that's not helpful. If you're pushing yourself to the max every time you work out, there's a few things that will happen. First of all, you're not giving yourself enough rest and you're breaking down your muscle too often or, or your cardiovascular system. You're pushing it too much and you're not giving yourself enough rest to recover. Okay, so most of the time they would say then you should just push yourself to maybe 70 or 80 percent of your of your maximum effort and then occasionally do more intense training. Okay, so that theory is that First of all, think what that does to your motivation to, to, to be fit, to go to the gym. You're not facing these Herculean sessions every time you go to, to work out, right? So, how does this apply in our lives? Again, I've talked in other videos about these, you know, Instagram motivational speakers that tell you to hustle and grind all the time and you can never do enough and you need to push yourself harder all the time. That will not lead to consistency, okay? That is going to push you and you're going to burn yourself out and you're going to hate whatever it is you do. And you're going to realize that it's eaten into other areas of your life that are important. Maybe your relationships or your fitness or whatever it is. Those things will not be given the attention that would be perfect, that they might need, right? That they, they would be uh, preferential for those things. So the idea is that whatever the goal is, that you set up your lifestyle that you're doing a little bit towards those goals as a sort of a baseline for effort every day so that each day you're making progress okay just a little bit of progress and it should seem easy okay now from my experience doing this with clients they will tell me what their low-end easy effort daily consistent effort should be and when I hear it my first impulse is usually to say actually no that's still too much Remember, you're trying to be consistent daily, like almost to the point where it's so easy that you know you can't fail with it, right? So what is the lowest amount of input you can do with something to still make some progress? That is your baseline for input, okay? Now, your, your first starting point in this, and if you're going to be consistent, is to try and be that every day, okay? Try and hit that consistency and that goal every day. Or if you want to take days off, do it consciously and deliberately. That's the way we would do it, right? We're not being passive about this anymore. So you're being, you're setting yourself up for success. Okay, your expectation is, I'm only going to take on goals that I know are doable and achievable, and I'm not going to kill myself doing it. And I'm going to see, as easy as it is, I will see some progress towards that goal consistently every day. And then occasionally, whenever you feel like it, it's like with the exercise I talked about before with this rate of perceived exertion, occasionally you will do days when you put in big effort, but that's when you feel motivated to do it because motivation does go up and down. And if you're gonna be consistent, you can't really rely on motivation because it comes and goes. If it's low and you need that, you're gonna have these periods of time in your life when you spiral down emotionally and you're just going to throw your hands up and you're not going to do anything. Whatever your goal is, you have to perceive it as simple, achievable and doable. Okay. Now that's one of the main things I talk about in my course on this. It's on procrastination and personal productivity. It's completely different to the advice you will see from most motivational speakers on this, which I think is unhelpful for a huge amount of people, it makes them feel bad about themselves. 
So you can check that out on my website if you're interested. You can also work with me and uh, send me an email and we can set something up for, for working together online. But I want you to take away from this, in order for you to be successful, it might be a lot easier and more enjoyable than you think it is. What if it's this whole concept that it's hard and it's going to be very, very difficult and it's going to require struggle and if I'm not working hard enough, it's not going to happen for me. What if that me mentality, that mindset is the one thing that's stopping you from being successful? Think about that, okay? In my experience, that is very, very true. I want you to start having daily success, daily positive feedback, a daily sense of growth. Your emotions are going to tell you, I'm on the right track. I can see the evidence before my own eyes that I'm no longer this inconsistent person who spirals up and down emotionally. Now it's just more level. I'm just going to gradually, without any drama, without any Herculean effort or any of that stuff, I'm going to see gradual, consistent growth. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, help me out uh, by subscribing to the channel and uh, liking the video. It helps me reach more people. If you have a question as well, you can go to my website and you can um, ask me a question and I'll try and make a video response to you on it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.